Blackburn from National Training Centers. And as we start these exercises for our 2011 summer off-season training program, what's critical to remember is that flexibility, stretching, and most importantly, proper warm-up is absolutely critical to every program that we do. So today we're going to start off, I've got Chris to the right of me, I've got Jesse to the left. Jesse's going to do a very conventional, simple warm-up, skipping rope, and Chris is going to be even simpler, where you need absolutely no equipment, jumping jacks. And the whole focus here, let's get started guys, the whole focus here is to just get the heart rate up, get a little bit of blood flow going, so that your body's ready for what comes next. These guys are going to skip for two, maybe three minutes, jumping jacks, and then we're going to get, get into some lower body stretching. I want you guys to be spending as much time as you want stretching and doing these warm-ups. If you feel like you're bored and you got a little bit extra time on your hands and you want to do these, get onto these as often as you can. That's it. And you want to do these until you feel like your heart's going. It feels like you're, you know, you've been working. You're a little bit heavy breathing and that you're feeling the work. How you doing, Jess? Good. Excellent. So Jesse's uh, played here in Toronto for the St. Michael's Buzzers. Grew up in Toronto, played his minor hockey for a number of years, different clubs here in Toronto. Accomplished athlete, going to the U.S. college circuit next year, ready for a big season. And for Jesse, his game is about speed, finesse, hands, precision. So whether you're an athlete that's his age or someone much younger, we're all searching for the same thing. We want to be better, we want to be stronger, we want to be faster. Okay guys, let's let's get into the warm-ups. Drop your rope. You want to jump to that side, Chris? Eat over there, Jess. So first what we're going to do is just simple walking and drive that knee up nice and high. Here we go, walking, pull it in. So you want your chest up and you want to drive that knee up into your body. It's just a slight warm up. You want to pull that in. You want to get some flexibility through your hips. Keep going all the way there. You want to do about 10, maybe 15 of these. Let's come back, do it again, guys. Same thing. Pull it all the way up. <laughs> Focus on this skin, strong upper body. Everything we do, every exercise we do, whether we're training lower body, upper body, core, speed, power, agility, work, you always want to maintain proper posture through your upper body. Okay, now you guys are going to do the, the dynamic version to that. So just knees up high as you can, quickly. So same thing. Now this is not a race. You're not trying to get from point A to point B in, in light lightning speed. You actually want to get as many lifts as you can through that time frame. Let's go. Lots of lifts. Even if you stay right there and drive your knees up. That's it. Slow it down. Lots of lift. Perfect. Lots of lift. Drive it up. Okay, next one is pulling up this way here. So you're gonna feel this stretch through your through your thigh, even though you're pulling back, it's gonna be through here. So you walk across, pull the next one up. Away you go. Most of us as athletes, we don't stretch enough. I say to parents and athletes alike, that if we could spend 15, 20% more time stretching, we'd significantly increase our strength, our speed, and our power in whatever our chosen sport is. That's it, Chris, pull it all the way up. Feels pretty tight, right? Oh, yeah. You feel that, Jess? Yeah. Where do you feel that? Oh, right, head. all the way up and through your hips. So don't be misled. Just because you're pulling back, it's not a stretch through the back. You're gonna feel it up and through your in, up and through your hips. Sometimes even way up into your lower abdomen area. Pull it up, and again, stand up strong. That's it. Resist the temptation to lend lend forward or, or bend at the waist. And now running, you almost want to put your hands behind your back and imagine you're trying to kick yourself in the palms of your hand. And again, as many lifts as you can get. Go. And stay, run right where you are. Don't move, run right there. So see, you can do these warm-ups on the spot. You don't have to be moving in a big area. You can do these in the basement. You can do these in the kitchen. You might want to check with mom and dad first, but you can do these wherever you need to. Keep going, guys, all the way across. All the way, perfect, perfect. And bring it back one more time. Excellent. All the way, drive those knees all the way up. Perfect, pull it up, pull it up, pull it up, pull it up. And when you're doing those, the higher you drive your heel up and back, the more you're going to feel the stretch in your hips. The other thing to mention is these are great stretches you should be doing after you work out and after you train to make sure you're as loose as you can possibly be. Next one is called Toy Soldier. So you're going to drive your right foot straight up and you're going to touch it with your left hand. So it's going to be straight up like this. Again, upper body, shoulders strong and square, driving straight ahead to the horizon that you're in pursuit of. Let's go. Fantastic. And reach it across and you're trying and Jesse you want to try as you reach up you want this hand to come from outside across to that foot you're not just reaching forward to it so come across your body Jess that's it reach up perfect keep going keep going fantastic okay now remember the next one guys you're gonna step out into a lunge down and then straight up and you're gonna feel that stretch through your hamstring and onto the next leg, go. 
down to a deep, nice lunge, and then just straighten right up. Perfect. And again. And much like we're going to talk about in a lot of our strength training and power drills later on in this exercise program, there's a lot of exercises we do to develop the hamstrings, this part of your leg, and also your glutes. They're critical to your performance. A, they give you a lot of power and speed. B, they give you great stability. And C, if taken care of correctly, you'll stay injury free. Let's do this again. So make sure these warm ups are done properly so that you're strong, you're limber, that's it, and super flexible. Let's go. Remember Dominic Koshik, a great goaltender years ago, said that 90% of his injuries happen when he's in dynamic movements. So doing static stretches, reaching down and holding it didn't make any sense to him. And we've come a long way since the 90s to understand that stretching, dynamic stretching, is really where it's at. The next stretch, the last one in the circuit, walk along, pull this all the way up, almost like you're trying to put your leg up, your shin, sort of on top of the kitchen counter. Again, ask your mom and dad before you do it. But here we go, drive it up. Pretty tight, eh, Chris? Oh, yeah. So, so resist the temptation to touch down. Do the stretch to its entirety, hold it for a couple of seconds, and then touch down. If you're having trouble doing this, this is a great indication that you're very tight through your hips, and we spend a lot of time in the gym, even at the young ages, training, skating, playing, doing extra work, on the court, off the court. Let's make sure that we're developing this part of our, of our athleticism as well. Here we go again, lift it up. Pull it all the way up, Chris. Beautiful. Fantastic, drive it up. So Chris Comenti here, another great athlete, a graduate and alumni of the OHL, recent graduate from university here in Ontario. Great athlete, greatly accomplished and academically and athletically. Remember, the academics are as important as the athletics. So next one is, so again, chest and shoulders up and rotating open. Other leg, rotating open, go. Almost like you're making a big, a big zero. Or half a zero with that with that out there you go turn and the leg is planted on the ground make sure it's solid and it's strong sorry Jess that's it Chris reach it and turn and resist the temptation to lean or bend stay strong through your back and bring it back guys last time fantastic Jess drive it up keep your chest and shoulders strong when you turn, I don't want to see any twisting or rotating through your upper body. Everything's just stay focused straight ahead. Chin, shoulders, chest, belly button. Looking straight ahead. Okay, guys, back in here. Let's do your jumping jacks. Let's grab a skipping rope. We're going to skip for a few seconds. Three, two, one, go. And jumping jacks. Okay, so we did that flexibility work. Let's get the heart rate back up. We're about to start the next phase of your program. Whatever you've got on your schedule, whatever the next part of your program is today, dig in, do it hard. Dream it, plan it, execute it. Let's go. We are calling.